Aaron here from Honda Pilot Overland. Today we're gonna do another repair. Uh, basically at the end of our trip, uh, right towards the very end, it was like the last 30 minutes, the pilot's uh, motor started overheating. Um, I don't think it's exactly because of the towing. It started overheating when it was idling. Um, and the transmission was fine, uh, but the, the motor did start getting hot. Only once did it get uh, close to the, the full max red hot zone uh, but basically the symptoms were when I was idling it would start creeping up and every time I would start moving the temperature would drop down and from my research uh, it could be a blown head gasket which I'm hoping it's not the coolant fluid still looks clear so I don't think it's that I haven't gotten a chance to drain the oil yet uh, which I can can do that if this repair doesn't make a difference but basically I'm gonna put in a new thermostat uh, for my research the thermostat could be stuck partially open and caused the symptoms that I was seeing. And uh, I did some research on the market. I was gonna go OEM um, if the price was affordable or reasonable, but our local local Honda dealer wanted uh, $79 before tax for their thermostat. So I went with the AutoZone fail-safe thermostat. Supposedly it'll fail open. It won't fail partially closed or closed. So at least if it fails, your, your car just runs cool instead of you know running hot. So this is what we're going to try to install today. It should be a pretty easy install. Um, I think from what I saw, probably the hardest part is just capturing the fluid as it falls down and hits my skid plate and stuff. So I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to probably put down a tarp and maybe a, uh, a towel on top of that. But I'm going to try to capture as much coolant, prevent it from getting into the environment. But let me get set up here and I'll show you what we're working with. The thermostat is housed down here in this thermostat housing right here. So there's a 10 millimeter bolt on top, and then down below you can feel a 10 millimeter bolt uh, behind it. To start with, um, I'm just gonna try to undo those bolts and see how much play I can get. It is gonna drop uh, coolant fluid. All right, so I've got like quarter inch tubing here, and if you look up where the coolant fluid drain is, you can kind of jam it up in there and then just twist it and for mine it just kind of pinches it there the actual part that that comes out from the radiator is smaller than this tube but if it stays it should help me funnel the fluid down into this bucket um, i'm going to go ahead and drain i guess two buckets worth of coolant fluid out of here uh, full disclosure it's been a long time since i've used honda coolant fluid so it is going to be green i've just been using the bottles that say they're okay for honda fluid and I know that that, you know, if you're a Honda enthusiast, that might not be what you want to do, but it's what I've been doing. So, all right. So right behind the drain here, there's an area to twist and release the fluid. And there it goes. I'm going to undo the cap on the top. The fluid looks fine. Um, when I undid the cap at the top here, it did something I had never seen before. I'm hoping it's not a bad sign, but basically it somehow forced some pressure to get released right here. And my fluid reservoir is overfilled at the moment, which I think was just from, you know, the fluid getting hot from overheating. But it does seem a little odd that there was that much pressure left in the system. Either way, replacing the thermostat is going to be a good step in the right direction. The one I bought was only like $28 after tax. So we'll replace that and give it some test drives, see if that resolves the issue. There's a lot of sensors and wires going into this housing, so I'm curious to see how much room I have when I undo it here. Also I noticed that the new thermostat didn't come with any of the uh, gasket material. So I'm gonna have to see if I can transfer what I have or if that's seems like a really dumb choice. I'll have to go ahead and purchase the uh, gasket material. Let's see if we can get this socket down here. All right, so some fluid definitely came out of there. I'm having a hard time scooting it back because of the sensor and stuff that's in here. To me, it's looking like it's gonna be worth undoing the coolant hose itself. All right, so we got the hose off. 
That lets me move this housing a lot more than previously. Let's get the thermostat out of here. Oh yeah. It let the floodgates out. That's not good. It's not good at all. That's what I was trying to stop, guys. The original thermostat, which I really do think this is original. This isn't a Gates. This has to be Honda original here. So this has uh, 256,000 plus miles. But it's a lot heavier. Definitely looks different. This one says it's equivalent. And again, like I said, this one, the brand is called Failsafe. Supposedly, when it fails, it fails open. That sounds really appealing to me. Also, it just seems like it'll kind of help me see if the thermostat was my prob problem or not. Um, as you guys know, in about two weeks, not this weekend, but next weekend, I've got a trip to Uwari National Park, and I would hate for my overheating problem to not get fixed by then. So, definitely going to focus really hard, but fingers crossed this is going to do the, do the trick here. So I went ahead and just kind of winged it and lined it up the best I could. Now I'm hooking up the coolant lines and all those plugs that I undid. All right, so it's two days later from when I left off on that last video. Uh, the reason for that is couplefold. Um, so I did some research onto why there was pressure released when I undid the uh, cap here. And it turns out that one of the ways that a head gasket can fail, it basically allows exhaust gas into the radiator. Um, when it fails like this, the exhaust gas can actually uh, displace the coolant fluid, pushing it out the reservoir, uh, but it in, because of how it fails, it does not allow the fluid back in. So at this point, I, my theory is that either from towing or from uh, throttling it really hard, in the uh, state park I may I may have detected my first signs of a head gasket leak so that's kind of why I didn't finish the video is it was kind of a nerve-wracking moment uh, but what I've decided to do is uh, I continued with the thermostat replacement I did burp the system and um, what I've been doing is just driving it for two days normal uh, not throttling it hard just driving it uh, like I normally would and so far there have not been any there hasn't been any gas in the radiator um, everything seems normal of course what I'm trying to do is detect whether I can take my pilot as planned camping in the mountains and uh, start assessing the head gasket repair which I know is gonna have to happen eventually um, my pilot has pretty incredibly high miles so it's it's up close to 260,000 miles now um, so as far as the head gasket goes uh, it's not a shock that you know something like this would eventually fail um, but it definitely isn't something you want to find out and um, right now I'm just crossing my fingers that uh, it holds in there and allows me to continue with my plans until I can uh, get the vehicle parked and start replacing the head gasket um, I've started doing my research on what it's going to take to do the repair, and I think it's within my means to go ahead and do that. Um, there's some benefits that come from it. I get to look at the inside of my, my engine and assess the condition. Um, I get to know my vehicle uh, you know, that much better. I was already planning on doing a valve adjustment, which uh, to do a valve adjustment, you do have to take the pilot down a pretty significant amount. So the head gasket's just a bit farther than that. Uh, but at this point, uh, you know, if you guys like the channel and you like my pilot, I'm planning on running it, you know, virtually indefinitely. This whole channel is built around my pilot. So a uh, couple thoughts, uh, any support that you guys can provide uh, in this moment, the head gasket, it's not going to be, you know, exactly cheap. I'm going to be doing it myself, which will save me some money, uh, but I'm going to want to do the timing belt and replace the spark plugs and basically there's going to be quite the cost there uh, ideally if I can get enough support what I'd like to do is purchase a second pilot uh, same generation and that would allow me to maintain the channel almost indefinitely if this pilot if I run it too hard and you know it bites the dust uh, something happens 
then I can start transferring my modifications to the other pilot. Um, so yeah, just consider that when you're watching the channel. If you like to see me, you know, pushing the limits of what this platform can do, um, just consider, you know, donating, uh, either subscribing to Patreon or purchasing some of the shirts. We did get a new shirt store up. It's my Etsy site. Um, and I'm going to have more t-shirt designs there, but already, you know, I've felt your guys' support, your subscriptions, your what, your views. Um, you know, it's, it's starting to have some income that comes in, which is great. Um, and I want to keep it up. And, uh, so yeah, just consider it. Um, you know, if we, uh, get enough popularity, it crossed my mind that maybe I could, uh, I don't know, somehow get the funding for a new pilot and then uh, modify it. That might take the channel to the next step. Um, I'm not big on loans. I don't have lots of, you know, free cash. So I don't want to go out and, you know, get a loan on a, a new pilot and thrash it. But if somehow I could get external support that could allow me to get to that point, that'd be really cool in the long run. Um, so yeah, uh, the uh, thermostat repair, just to summarize, was uh, pretty darn easy. And uh, so far the pilot has not overheated. Um, and then just another recap, it's hard for me to know if it was towing for 600 plus miles that allowed you know a small amount of gas over that distance to escape into the radiator or you know when I'm throttle throttling it if there's like some sort of uh, escape happening then. But I'll keep you guys posted, keep you guys in the loop and I'll uh, see you on our next video. Over and out.